everybody, this is Praxis, and we got snow last night. In fact, if you turn around, the roof is sliding off right now, and there's like a little waterfall of snow. Oh, well, we got a big piece coming down. You can watch that while I talk, I guess. That's the nice thing about metal roofs. They just clear the snow just like that. That's one of the reasons that I put all of the uh, ports in the roof, like the chimney and the... Uh, man, look at my foot. That, okay, now it released. The crampons keep grabbing giant clods of snow. It's really sticky snow this day. Uh, that's one of the reasons I put the, uh, the vent, like the vent for the um, uh, plumbing system and everything like that, up really high because if they're lower on the roof, it grabs the snow and doesn't let the snow come off. So anyway, obviously, right behind me, I've got all the solar panels I set up the other day. They're in full sun, and they're working right now, but this morning they weren't. Uh, one reason was that they were covered in snow. I came out here and I brushed them all off. You know, solar panels, you can look at the uh, angle here on them. I don't know, it's about a 45 degree angle right there. Um, depending on uh, the type of solar panel, the glass, or maybe perhaps the age of a solar panel, it will... Um, It'll hold snow more or less than, uh, you know, other panels. Uh, the panels on my roof seem to clear pretty well, but those are new. They're obviously on the other side of the roof, on the south side over there. These I always have to come out and, um, uh, you know, clear off. So, uh, you know, if, if I was stuck down inside uh, the uh, fallout shelter and it snowed out here, I, I know you never really associate nuclear and winter in the same sentence, but, uh, you know, if it did snow, that would be kind of a problem and, uh, you know, we wouldn't get, be getting any power. I mean, I got another clot of snow on my, my boot right there. So anyway, I had another uh, issue this morning and it relates to the uh, electricity coming out of these. And it was a mistake that I had made and I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, the panels in the back here, it had been my understanding, my incorrect understanding, that if you kind of daisy chained them together, uh, it would run, that would be running them in series. You can kind of plug one into the other, into the other. Uh, each of them is a 12 volt panel, uh, daisy chaining them together. Should have given me 24 volts, but it didn't. Uh, I was getting 20, uh, well, you know, I was, I was getting 12 volts no matter what. I, you know, I'm, I say 12 volts, if you, if you know about panels, you know that the voltage in the sun is actually higher than 12 volts, but I was getting like a 12 volt signal. It was actually like 21 volts uh, coming out of uh, each panel. And even when I ran them what I, in what I thought was series, it was still 21 volts. So it was like they were being put together in parallel even though they were running series. In reality, they were being put together in parallel and um, I had to figure that out. It was kind of like a troubleshooting process this morning. We're gonna float right in here. Actually, I'm gonna to have to do something crazy with the camera. There we go. Get you inside here and try to knock my boots off more. Sorry, today's a little bit, uh, a little unhinged. This morning, I thought I was gonna uh, come out here and look at all the beautiful power coming in, uh, but it was uh, kind of a bumpy ride. But it's coming in now. I've got the multimeter on here. The lights on this guy are going. Oh, it's flashing. It's now flashing that the, uh, the batteries are full, so I'm going to turn this multimeter on, put it to DC mode, because the default is to AC mode, and check the batteries, and my battery's voltage is 29 volts. 29 volts uh, is what they, they hold. They, you know, I remember I set them up yesterday, I was saying I set them up in series, uh, so I had a uh, 24 volt, uh, full, 24 volt uh, pairs of batteries, so 29 volts. That's doing pretty, pretty good. So, what's next? Uh, we've got the bunks done in here, and we've got the uh, electricity uh, going. We've got electricity coming from the house. We've got electricity here. Uh, you know, it was brought up in the comments it would be a good idea to EMP protect that stuff. It would. I'm kind of working on that. The system in the house is presently EMP protected. I haven't done this one. It's like 300 bucks to. Uh, protect the system. Granted, your life is probably worth that, but I haven't, I haven't gotten around to that yet. The next thing for me, I think, is going to be water. Uh, we got the water line coming in here. I'm going to be running that up along the ceiling over to this area here. And right in here, I think I'm going to have a sink and a drain going out there. So that's kind of the next thing. I, I'm honestly starting to run out of projects to do that uh, you know have some kind of usefulness outside of a nuclear holocaust. I've been focusing, like I said, on the ones that, you know, have utility either way, but I'm getting down to the point where I'm just working on fallout shelter stuff, and that's fine, So because it's, it's important. So that's where I am today. I think I'm going to do a few things later on, but, uh, you know, I just want to talk in this video about how I had to kind of re, uh, refigure out the system and rewire it because I made a mistake about the way that the, uh, the things paralleled together. So that's it. Test your stuff out first. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.